These sites like Waco Tanks are like books in the sense that the artifacts, the cultural features, the natural setting tell us the story of the people that lived here. I just love getting out onto these places and seeing these resources and how people lived in the past. Mystery solving, I guess, to me, you know, solving the puzzle and learning the story of these people. Tim is the epitome of a Texas Parks and Wildlife employee who, through everything he does, conserves the valuable resources. In the case of cultural resources, these are irreplaceable. Conservation is important because that's part of our heritage. And when those things are lost, we lose the story of our lives. In the case of Waco Tanks, over 10,000 years of archaeological deposits, thousands of pictographs. It's basically the birthplace of the Kachina belief system that still guides Puebloan societies today. I wrote the nomination for the National Historic Landmark designation of Waco Tanks, which uh, I believe was 129 pages. It had to be reviewed at the regional level and also in, in Washington, D.C. The National Historic Landmark nomination is the highest recognition that can be given through the National Park Service. This was a very complicated process and Tim spent, I think it was two years or more of his time writing a very, very detailed account of those resources. Writing that was something that only Tim could have handled because that's the kind of guy he is. Some of the benefits of that designation is the fact that uh, Waco Tanks will get more uh, national publicity. It also opens the door to uh, some grant funds that we can apply for to continue our preservation efforts. Waco Tanks is an oasis in the desert. As an NHL, it has now achieved the highest level of significance for an archaeological site. Every part of that National Historic Landmark nomination was documented to the nth degree, and that's because of Tim's eye for detail. Tim is extremely passionate about what he does. He's the kind of person who will continue to do extraordinary work as he has for the last two decades for Texas Parks and Wildlife. The story of Waco Tanks isn't finished. It's, it's ongoing. And even beyond Native American cultures, there's other people that visit Waco Tanks and enjoy and recreate here. So it's a, it's a book without an ending. <laughs>